Hello and welcome back to our channel. Um, we are a little bit late to the party, but we got very excited about Minecon Live, or Minecraft Live as it's called now, and we were really excited about the new announcements for the updates. So we thought we'd let you know our thoughts. I'm Twix True. My name is Equal Play. And together we're Curious Gamers. We're very, very curious about these new updates. So it's the swamp update that we all asked for. Well, except we didn't. We didn't ask for it. <laughs> it's called the wild update, but it includes the swamp update biome that they had a biome vote on a couple of years ago now, and we actually voted for the swamp update we instead did. of the extreme hills update. Yeah, I'm so excited that they've decided to do it anyway. Yeah, me too. I, I mean, can't wait. Clearly they were excited. Um, they're also, from the look of things, going to be doing a few other updates, so... Yeah, so it's called the wild update, and it's going to actually be a biome update, so they're going to update the forests a bit and and some of the biomes which will be really cool it will be yeah you, they had some really lovely concept art i really love how blocky and yet artistic <laughs> these shots are they are these are like my new favorite pictures i think <laughs> <laughs> i love them but they all of them look really cool and i am so excited for this update oh, so the the first thing that they announced was chest boats <laughs> 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 and let's face it that's largely why we wanted um the initial uh it, the, the swamp update to win last time wasn't it yeah it was we were so excited about swamp boats and then it lost and we were like what why why do we have boats <laughs> <laughs> i am so excited and then for them to include these mangrove trees as well oh i absolutely love them. yeah I, just the canopy so weeping willows are actually my favorite tree in real life and these are going to have that really lovely feel of going under and through things, like between the roots and the leaves. It's just going to be really nice. And we get a new wood type, which actually really helps with those warmer type of woods. It looks very like jungle, so I'm hoping they change it slightly. I, I agree, yeah. But it'll be nice to have another warmer tone to add to like the jungle and the acacia. Which are the, the woods that we tend to use least, but maybe if, with more of them, maybe we'll... Yeah, maybe we'll be able to we'll use them a little bit more. But yeah, a new a new tree type is always exciting. Oh, God, yeah. And so we've got loads of trees. <laughs> <laughs> so much option. But yeah, I really love the, the the way they've really thought about this, the concept art. And, and yeah, the, these roots and this going through things... So you're, you're getting this feel of this overhanging things. Yeah, no, I really like that. And, and it's one of this, there's a few biomes that need updating, but the swamp was one that really lacked life. And like, it made no sense to me that the swamps lacked life so much because in real life, swamps are full of life. Well, yeah, we actually did um, a part of our starter base series um, where we run around in, in survival because we're, we're silly like that. Um, and that was one of the things we pointed out with the one where we we built in a swamp was how lifeless it is. Yeah, and we had to had to add life, and then literally a week later they added um, they added this, <laughs> and then we're like, why didn't you have this? At the neck? <laughs> <laughs> but a, a way to actually farm clay is going to be fantastic. Uh, and mud. I can finally build mud houses. Dirt houses are going to be all the rage. <laughs> finally i will make you your dirt house that you've always dreamed of uh is this minecraft trolling us oh maybe <laughs> <laughs> and look frogs we're gonna get frogs oh these then they i'm a bit concerned that they don't look very minecrafty like they're quite complicated but then i suppose so are the llamas and a lot of the other creatures yeah but they are adorable I really do like them, and they're just going to add so much life, especially as they also obviously come as tadpoles as well. Oh, yeah, you're um, going to be able to... And, and fireflies going, as well. You're going to be able to add so much life to areas, like fly fireflies. Imagine those flying around a cave that you oh. build. It would just look amazing. Are you going to be able to capture them and move them, though? I imagine you do something cool, like put them in a bottle or a jar. Or... Oh, yeah, that'd be, I was going to say, can you put them in a bucket? But no, putting them in a, in a jar makes way more sense. And tadpoles, again, there's all these little things that you're just going to be able to, like, pick up and move and give so much more life to so many other areas other than the swamp. And the fact that these are, they come in different forms. So 
I would assume that they're going to spawn all over the place. I think they spawn, well, from what I understood, they spawn in the swamps, but you can move the tadpoles and when they grow up, they'll grow up into the different type of frogs. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see how they actually um, do it, whether they're yeah. ubiquitous or if they are going to be specialists and then we control where they go. But it's really nice to have all these different frog types. They are just so adorable. Oh, good. That's going to be really interesting for like the adventure maps where each of the frog types has something special that you get from them. So you can then go on quests for different items depending, you know, and, and like have to go out and get the items from the different frogs and things. Oh, yeah, it's also exciting. Yeah, definitely. So this picture, what is this thing on the right? On the right, this is Deep Dark. Ah, is that like the entrance to the Deep Dark? That's actually quite an interesting picture, isn't it? Yes, yeah, I, I saw this and, and during the actual live show, which we were totally watching with pizza and going, ooh, ah, throughout the whole <laughs> thing. <laughs> so this picture on the left is so gorgeous. And, and I really like, again, this concept art. But then you've got this thing on the right. Which is a bit scary. Which is, what is that? Yeah, so I think we should talk about the deep dark in our next video. Yes, I agree. I'm just curious, no, is is that part of the deep dark or is that something else? Uh, that's part, that's part, that is the deep dark, I think. Okay. So this is just this concept art of this beautiful overworld that's going to be upgraded and it's going to be full of life and so pretty and if you dig down you get to this terrifying area minecraft is going to become a horror game if we're not careful <laughs> <It is. laughs> but should we talk about that next time i think that that would be a, a good topic to cover next time yes thank you for watching our video we have been curious gamers and we have been very curious about the new updates do leave any comments of your thoughts and the things that you're most excited about the Swamp update. I would really love to hear your thoughts. And give us a like and subscribe for future content. We very much appreciate your support. Bye bye for now. Bye bye.